What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, a lot of you guys have been wondering on the Facebook groups and on the forums and whatnot if it's really worth it to straight pipe your diesel truck. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my five reasons why you might want to think about it first. And then after that, I'm going to jump into my five reasons why I think that you should straight pipe your diesel truck. to start with the five reasons why you might want to reconsider straight piping your truck so as for number one it's illegal uh, everybody knows that people just kind of don't care people get away with it but it is illegal to tamper with your emission system in any way uh, another thing that follows it being illegal is there's a numerous amount of tickets that can come with that uh, noise complaint tickets for your exhaust being noisy black smoke everywhere you're probably gonna get a ticket for that in California I know that you can actually get a ticket for modifying your exhaust at all whether it be a car or a truck and that's actually a thousand dollar non correctable ticket so if you're in California it's definitely something you might want to think about before straight piping your truck so yeah it is illegal but you know people kind of do what they want to do anyways and for the second reason why you actually might want to double think straight piping your truck is that it is really loud uh, it's 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 very loud especially depending on what kind of exhaust setup you have if you want to run stacks that's probably your loudest one you know an axle dump kind of echoes off the floor at higher rpms too it's gonna be a lot louder uh, you know if you have a lot of highway driving or whatever if you're that kind of person you might get annoyed um, a little bit extra drone in the cab depending on your setup as well so the second reason that I have is that it's just loud you know if you're wanting a nice quiet ride if you're wanting to just kind of relax on your way home from work it's not gonna happen you got that straight pipe it's not gonna happen <laughs> your neighbors will not like you driving around causing all kinds of noise at 3 o'clock in the morning revving your truck up in your driveway they're they're gonna hate it especially if you live like in a more confined area they're they're, they're gonna hate you uh, I had this problem a long time ago I had another truck uh, six seven come into a straight pipe and I work nights so I got home from work between three in the morning five in the morning sometimes six in the morning and yeah I always felt bad you know creeping into the neighborhoods trying to shut off my truck as quick as possible uh, thankfully for me I daily drive a car so like the truck isn't my daily driver but if your truck is your daily driver you might want to consider maybe getting a muffler or something like that if you care about what your neighbors think and you know just the whole neighborhood in general so that would be my second reason as to why you might not want to straight pipe your truck and so the third reason that I have is actually kind of tailing off of the first reason and that is because once you straight pipe your truck you will not pass emissions uh, the DPF is no longer under there uh, you're you know you're able to blow soot out if they do a visual inspection test you're completely screwed because I mean it's just a it's just a pipe you don't have any big filters or anything like that so depending on your area that will also kind of determine whether or not you want to remove all that stuff underneath your truck uh, because yeah you won't you won't pass I mean I know a couple people they'll they'll straight pipe their trucks and they'll keep the old exhaust system and then once a year you know when the missions rolls around they'll throw it back on uh, as that goes for me that would just be a pain in the ass I wouldn't want to deal with that I mean some people some people have the hookups some people can pay off people <laughs> uh, I don't know but 
you might have the hookup you might not care about that you might have a buddy's address that you can put your uh, registration under Bruh. so that's really up to you but if you straight pipe your truck you're not gonna pass emissions and so the fourth reason why you might not want to straight pipe your truck is that it's expensive uh, when you start getting into these diesel trucks if you straight pipe it especially the newer ones you can't just buy an exhaust slap it on there and call it good you have to get it tuned because otherwise your truck's gonna freak out thinking that there's something wrong with it so with that being said you can't just buy a $300 exhaust slap it on call it good and then you know there you go straight pipe you actually are gonna have to get some sort of tuner as well and the tuners range from you know a few hundred dollars to thousand dollars so depending on what all you want and so if you want an exhaust on your truck you're looking at spending at least probably 900 bucks just to get it all said and done so you know if that's not what your budget is really asking for at the moment you might not want to straight pipe your truck don't just get that pipe and assume that you can do it because you can't okay so the fifth reason that I have as to why you might not want to straight pipe your truck and uh, this one this one's a big one is that you will be drawing attention to yourself everywhere you go people are gonna be staring at you everywhere you know people kind of have it uh, instilled in their minds that diesel truck owners are douchebags and I mean half the time that's true but like you're basically labeling yourself as that once you straight pipe your truck you know no matter how calmly you're driving or whatever so they're, they're gonna hear your truck and just kind of associate you with the rest of them uh, another thing is that you know you're driving down the street any other diesel truck too is going to want to race you I'm just saying especially if you have other mods done to your truck you know you have some wheels you know your trucks looking customized you got a loud exhaust on there anyone else who has exhaust modifications or likes trucks at all or has a truck at all that thinks it's cool is gonna want to mess with you in traffic you know uh, any other truck that's loud any other diesel truck that's loud I never just drive by them on the highway there's always something I'm not the one I'm not the one who instigates it but yeah every no truck is gonna leave you alone that's just that's just how it is which I don't know you might think that's a good thing but you know you're definitely not under the radar once you straight pipe your diesel truck you're definitely putting yourself out there uh, people are gonna be staring at you trucks are gonna be trying to mess with you all the time people are gonna be rolling call on you you know trying to get you to race them you know like if you're that kind of person that just kind of wants to relax on your way home or you really don't want to you know cause that much attention or be such a distraction then you might not want to straight pipe your truck because at least as far as it, it goes for me every time that I've straight piped a truck you know you could just tell the difference in the way that people react to you in traffic whether or not you're trying or whether or not you know you're trying to get people's attention they're gonna notice you so that would be the fifth reason why I say you might not want to straight pipe your truck if you really just want to stay under the radar and you want to stay good then yeah you might want to get a muffler on there or just leave it how it is so those are my five reasons why you want to think about it before you straight pipe your truck if any of those five reasons you care about then you might want to think twice you know there is there is mufflers out there you can still delete your truck you can get rid of all that harmful shit on there without having to have it be all loud and obnoxious you can put a muffler on you can put certain things on to quiet it down a little bit so you know it's not the end of the world if you don't want to piss off your neighbors or if it's illegal or anything like that all right now that all those five reasons are over with I'm gonna jump into the more exciting part and those are the five reasons why I think that you should straight pipe your truck specifically your diesel truck the very first reason is obvious it's fucking awesome no okay no okay the true first reason is actually that your truck will thank you for it everything under there that comes stock on the truck the DPF the sensors 
knock sensors, all that garbage underneath is shortening the lifespan of your truck. Uh, especially in these six fours, the DPFs are actually known for causing cylinder seven and eight failure. So if you get your truck, even if you don't straight pipe it, I suggest that you delete it as soon as you can. Your truck will be happy, it'll be healthier, you'll notice an uh, increase in your throttle response, everything's just gonna be better once it's deleted. So, if you're the kind of guy that wants to straight pipe it, you're uh, causing a benefit to your truck. So that's a plus right there. That'd be the first reason why I'd say that straight piping your truck is definitely a benefit. And the second reason I have why it would be a good thing to straight pipe your truck is as long as you take care of the truck, you'll actually be getting better gas mileage with it. Uh, you delete your truck, put it on a mild tune, and drive it cautiously and not drive it like a douchebag, then you're definitely going to see results in MEG. And I don't see how that could be anything but a plus. And so that's kind of self-explanatory right there, better MPG. And now for the third reason that I have that you should straight pipe your truck is if you are ever planning on doing anything performance wise to a diesel truck, that's kind of what you have to do. Uh, nobody on earth has ever, you know, produced a 600 horsepower, 800 horsepower, whatever, any kind of performance truck with the emissions equipment still attached. That just doesn't happen. Simply because once you remove all that emissions garbage, your truck is already like double the power than it used to be. It's going to feel amazing. Which actually leads me into the reason number four, and that is because it completely changes the feel of your truck. You're gonna like your truck so much more, it's gonna to respond to you so much more, it's gonna feel like a real diesel truck. It's not gonna be, you know, all quiet and boring, anything like that. It's gonna be loud, it's gonna be enjoyable, and it's just gonna feel like a true diesel. I don't know how to explain that. Just Before trucks have any exhaust modifications, they just feel lame, they feel, slow they feel just boring i don't know i don't, I don't know it's just te it's terrible and once you can actually hear the exhaust and feel the truck move it's just a completely different experience you'll know what i'm talking about once you do it and if you have done it already i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about you enjoy your truck a whole lot more you enjoy driving it it's just a much better experience all around so that's my number four reason why you should straight pipe your truck and the number five reason, the fifth reason why you should straight pipe your truck is because screw all those other five reasons why you shouldn't. <laughs> those reasons, I mean, okay, look, number one reason why you shouldn't is that it's illegal. Everyone breaks the law. Everybody. The cops don't really care as much as you might think that they do. You know, there's deleted trucks all over the place, straight pipe trucks everywhere. Uh, it's illegal to do that. It's illegal to mess with your suspension in any way. There's lifted trucks everywhere. There's lowered cars everywhere. Um, it's illegal to have your tires sticking out past your fenders. All you see is people around here with 12 wides, 14 wides, 16 wides even. You know, the rules are bent all over the place. The cops are pretty lenient as long as you're not a big douchebag. Don't be that guy that ruins it for the rest of us. Don't be the guy that, you know, straight pipes your diesel truck like build some kind of lope tune or some sort of smoke tune or whatever and then smoking out the entire high school where he goes to you know don't be that guy don't be the guy that cuts off someone and uh, then blows smoke all over them because they don't have a diesel or because it's a Prius or they think it's funny or you know what I mean like don't don't be that guy that guy is all look bad <laughs> uh, yes my truck does roll coal yes I can make it blow black smoke if I want to yes it's loud if I want to make it but there's a time and place for all of that and regular traffic is not that time it's, it's just it's just not so don't be that guy but like I said the fifth reason is screw all the other five reasons so like you know it's uh, you're gonna piss off your neighbors 
could look at it as their problem, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't drive my truck every day, and so I still work nights, but I daily drive a car, so, you know, there's ways around that. And for me, as far as not passing emissions, I'm actually lucky enough right now that I live in an area that doesn't require emissions testing, so I can kind of get away with that. And if it being expensive, so if your problem with wanting to straight pipe your truck is that it's expensive, uh, yeah, maybe you should just wait. Or, like, I don't know, diesels are expensive. It's kind of, it's kind of the, the logic behind all of it. Uh, you kind of, you got to kind of play an expensive game if you want the expensive prizes. And another thing for me, the five reasons why you shouldn't, you know, every truck's going to want to race you. I mean, I love that stuff. I live for that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, we can share our passions on the road. Uh, I like talking with truck guys. I like seeing what people have done, you know. It's just, it's just all fun. Like I said, don't be that douchebag that wants to just, you know, roll call on everybody, but blow black smoke all over the place. Uh, you're just going to kind of make everyone else mad at you. But there is times and there is places to have fun. Uh, so yeah, for that fifth reason, ignore all the other five reasons why you shouldn't and go out and straight pipe your truck. You won't regret it. All right, and that just about makes up my five and five reasons might help you actually determine whether you want a straight pipe in your truck or not. I'm always going to say go with a straight pipe. Uh, if you're really into diesels, that's that's one of the first things I end up doing. Mainly for the health of the truck, but it comes with its own benefits as well. Maybe with my reasons, it might actually help you decide whether or not you want to straight pipe your truck. Uh, hopefully that helps. I mean, I'm always going to. I'm just that kind of person. It all kind of comes down to who you are and what your plans are with your truck. Good luck, guys.